Lynn Nottage's work is very complex. It's completely personal. Intimate Apparel is a play I've wanted to do for a very long time. This happens to a lot of African Americans. You don't know the specifics of your family. And Lynn wrote this play based off of her family. And she had been working with a box of photographs next to her desk of her grandmother, her great grandmother, her aunt, her great aunt, piecing together pieces of information, knowing that her grandma was, was a seamstress and kind of came here and was a self made woman and what it would have been in New York City at that point. One of the things I wanted to do in working with the set is connect New York City, which is during you know the Industrial Revolution, and then a corset. You look at the bridges that are being built, the subway systems, they all kind of have the same boning structure. All of that's going in in New York in 1905, at the same time as this strong, beautiful, single woman is sitting with this tiny machine creating the same structure to, to go around these, these women. There's a purity to Esther. She has a beauty and a power that she is unaware of. She's a survivor. Everything she owns and has, she's made with her own two hands. I think there's something beautiful in, that, in how she doesn't judge. And it's interesting that what she does is make this beautiful, exquisite, intimate apparel that also binds you in. And the women that she's making it for, including herself, there's something very structural about that you don't think of with intimacy. There's a fluidity to this piece, and there's joy. But the, the pride of how honest and truthful these people are brings the joy and the pain to the forefront.